Hi there, welcome to this video where I'm going to see how many species of birds I can photograph in three days. So this will be the third year that I've done this challenge. Basically, I've got three days to photograph as many species of birds that I can. Now, last year I managed to photograph 34 different species of birds over three days. So I'm gonna have my work cut out this year to manage to equal or even better that, but I'm gonna have a go. I've got a few rules that I do impose on myself. Firstly, I can only include birds that I photograph in my tally, and also I've got to stay within a mile of where I live. It's gonna be tricky, but hopefully I can manage to equal or better the score from last year. But either way, I know I'm really gonna enjoy my photography. So to begin this challenge, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a little bit of time over in my bird hide. So I'm sat here now in my bird hide that overlooks the feeding stations. It's a really good place to start because the birds at the moment have been really active. I've been getting through two whole tubefuls of seeds. I put out um, sunflower hearts and niger seeds, but pretty much I'm getting through a whole feeder full every day because the birds are just so active at the moment. And I also put seed out on, the, on a bird table and on a ground feeder, all that is going as well. So I should get a really good start to my bird count from in my bird hide. I have got off to a really good start so far today. Before I even came out of the house while I was getting ready, I did manage to get a shot of a pied wagtail through the kitchen window that was on the lawn. Now, hopefully I might get a better shot of that because taking shots through the kitchen window is not great, but I've only been in the hide about five minutes and there are already lots of goldfinch um, appearing. Um, and so I've got some shots of those. So the tally's going up really quickly this morning. I'm really confident that I'll end this morning's session with a really good number because there's lots of species coming to the feeders um, in great numbers. So if I sit here for a little while longer, I should end up doing really well. So I've just had a couple of really nice sightings. A greater spotted woodpecker did come and land on some of the perches and take some feed. Now that's a fairly common sighting here. I do see the greater spotted woodpecker quite often, but it's still really exciting to see one. But then also a jay came in and landed on one of the perches and that's a lot more uncommon. I very rarely see a jay from the bird hide. So that's added to the bird count. Talking to the camera, and there's a great spotted woodpecker there. Good, good. He's off. Well, I've spent about two hours now in the hide and it's been really successful. I've managed to get my bird count now up to 18 different species photographed. So it's been really successful. Last year at the end of day one, I was only on 20. So it bodes very well to finish today with a big score because I've got all afternoon now to wander around my local area to see if I can pick up any more different species. So 
So I'm stood on the edge of a field overlooking some crops and I'm hoping that I might see something hunting, maybe a buzzard or something similar. This is the field where I saw a lapwing a few years ago, um, so I might see something. If I don't see anything soon, I'm going to walk around the edge of this field because I know there's a pond fairly close. And annoyingly, I did miss a grey wagtail on the way down, but I just couldn't get the camera to my eye quick enough. So I've arrived at the pond, but as you can tell, it's overgrown with reeds, so I'm not going to get a shot here. I did hear a moorhen somewhere within all of that overgrowth, but I couldn't see it. But while I was stood here, I did hear a buzzard, and it did come into view in the gap above the trees, so I did manage to get a shot of that, albeit from a long distance away. Now, thankfully, I didn't impose any restrictions on the quality of the shots that I take because I've just got a picture of a thrush, so it goes towards the count, but it was an extremely long distance away. It's at least 100 metres from where I am, and I'm at 500 millimetres, so it probably wasn't the best shot. I'm sure it's pretty soft and not quite in focus, but it still counts. So it's amazing what you can see, just standing in the corner of a field, a grey heron has just flown over and I got its photograph, and then a reed bunting flew out from beside me, but it's far too quick to photograph, but it's nice to see it anyway. So I have managed to fight my way through some nettles to a patch of more open water on the pond that I thought was completely clogged up with reeds. Uh, I've um, managed to get a bit of a dry spot on the edge of the bank. Um, and while I've been here, I have seen a coot and a moorhen. Unfortunately, they were walking around in the reeds at the other side, so I've not managed to get a photograph. And I also think that I've seen a tree creeper, but again, that was through some leaves over to the other side. So there are birds here. So if I sit quietly and don't um, make too much fuss, hopefully those birds might come out onto the water. Now I have managed to get a shot of the coot uh, as it came out and there are three chicks as well that I've just spotted. Now I did sort of manage to get a shot of the um, chicks, not sure how good they were because I was shooting through overhanging branches um, which really messed up the focusing but hopefully somewhere within there I've got a reasonable shot. So that's a really good end to day one. I've just taken a picture of a swallow on the wires opposite the house. So that's taken my total up to 28. So I've got two full days left still to see if I can get seven more species. And I know that there have been a few that I've seen today that I've not actually managed to photograph. I've got a few more locations still I can visit that I've not already visited. I can revisit some of the ones I've already visited today. So hopefully, all being well, I should beat last year's total. But who knows, stay tuned to find out. So welcome to day two. I had a really successful day one, getting 28 species of birds photographed. Now I have got four species that are in the back of my mind that I'd like to improve the photographs that I got. They weren't the best quality, but I still got the photographs anyway, so they still count towards the final count. But I've now got to be a little bit more inventive about where I go to try and see the remaining seven species that I need to beat last year's total. So come along and join me.
So I've come down to my hide by the pond. Um, this is what I used to refer to as my kingfisher hide. Um, you may have seen quite a few videos from this hide of the kingfisher, but unfortunately it's not been sighted so far this year. Um, so it's not visiting this pond at the moment. But hopefully if I stay here long enough, um, I might get some sightings of something. I've already seen some mallards, but I've already had those in the back garden. So hopefully I can stay here for a good hour or so and just see what happens. I spent about an hour in the hide and unfortunately I haven't really seen very much. I did see some mallards that I expected anyway and right near the end I did see some moorhen chicks and just as I was packing away they came across the pond again um, but a lot closer so I managed to get some shots but they were handheld but I think they'll be okay because the shutter speed was quite high. So I've come down to the river to see if I can get any photographs of any new species. What I did was I left the equipment around the corner and I sneaked up quietly with the camera to my eye just in case there was something on a rock or on the fence. But unfortunately I didn't see anything new. I did get a shot of a juvenile robin. Um, which was um, quite nice out in the uh, open um, but that was the best that I got but I have got probably what is going to be one of the best bloopers I've had for a long while when I sat down on this fence here and it collapsed under me sending me backwards towards the river now somehow I managed not to get wet at all uh, even at one point I was hanging upside down the camera equipment was fine I was fine I just managed to spin around and um, put my feet into the water which is not very deep and I've got my wellies on anyway Way. what I will do later is I'll come back and I'll fix this fence because it's only a few seconds away from where I live. Whoops. So that's the end of day two and unfortunately I haven't managed to increase the score by many today. I saw the more hens on the pond and then on the way back home just I have managed to take some photographs of a wren that was um, flitting about near the path. Um, so that's taken my total today up to 30. So I am tantalizingly close to last year's record of 34. I need 35 to beat it. So stay with me to see if I manage it on my final day. So day three has got off to a really good start. I was getting ready to come out and I saw a common shell duck over by the feeders. Now I've never seen one of these here before. It's the first time I've ever sighted one here. And so that's a great start to day three. So I'm really lucky to have access to a couple of private ponds in the area. The owner has given me permission to visit this pond and there is a family of Canada geese just here on the pond. So I've got a photograph of those which has raised my tally by another one. Now you might have just heard, out in this field here are a couple of lapwing. Now I've come down to a shelter where they used to practice tug of war that's on the edge of this field here where I did film my video Trees in the Fog a few years ago. Um, obviously it looks quite a bit different um, than it does at the moment. But as well as the lapwings in this field here, I've also noticed in the trees above me also some more bird sounds and when I investigated it turned out that they were chiff chaffs. So that's taken my total up to 34. So I only need one more now to beat last year's record and I've still got one location to visit. So this pond is my final location and when I arrived I managed to see some grey lag geese and some tufted ducks so I've taken my total to 36 for this year. So 
So at the end of day two, yesterday, I was really doubtful whether I would beat my record from last year, but this morning has turned out to be really productive. The locations that I visited, I've had lots of different species of birds for me to add to my total. All I'm worried about now is next year, it's gonna be even harder. Well, if you have enjoyed this video, do let me know down below in the comments or nip over to my Instagram account, that's at Dirkton Photography. Leave me your comments there and you can also see lots of my pictures. Now, if you like what I do on the channel and want to help support me to make future content like this, you can also visit my Teespring store. There I've got a range of merchandise on offer and there are lots of new designs, so go and check that out. Also, you can click the super thanks button down below. But you don't have to spend any money at all to support the channel. You can do that simply by clicking like, subscribe and the bell notifications because that really helps me out and it makes sure that you don't miss out on any of my future content. Watch out for next week's video, that goes live on Sunday. In the meantime, go and check out this video just up here. But all that's left now is to say, stay safe and I'll see you soon.